Hello and welcome to Professor Tutorials. In today's video, I'll show you how to get or how to export Amazon's products into a CSV file. So, for example, I'll uh, search for a product like gaming accessories and scroll down where the pagination is available. Yes, here. So all these products uh, except these sponsored ones are the products what we need. So first of all we will go to the second page. So we have the pagination in the URL. Uh, right now you can see that there is no pagination uh, while it's the page one. So when you click on page two then you can see that there is a page two um, argument in the URL. So this was what we need okay now copy this uh, link or uh, let's just come to the customer review and click on star 3 and up so we have only the best sellers of products on um, the recent pages okay click here now we have uh, in the list type scroll down and see we are on the first page let's come to the second page similar to the previous one okay we have the uh, page number two option here now now copy this link and open your uh, chrome, google chrome browser this option works only with google chrome okay first of all uh, you will have to install this extension this is a chrome extension called webscraper.io uh, open more tools click on extensions click on these three bars and open web chrome store now search for webscraper.io and press enter okay if it didn't find any of uh, the plugin just open a new tab and type webscraper.io press enter and click on install it will take you to the uh, extension page and uh, here it will say add to chrome click on add to chrome and then it will be appeared like this okay now close all these tabs open a new tab and paste that url which we copied from amazon uh, with the argument of page number two here so I'll copy all this and paste it here okay once it opens in the chrome browser scroll down and let's confirm if it's page 2 yes it is okay now copy this link again and right click anywhere on the page and click on inspect now you will see uh, developer tools like this if uh, it doesn't appear like this and uh, then if you are opening for the first time then it will be something like this then click on these three dots not these ones these are the browser options these are the developers options click on these three dots and click on dock to bottom this one and you will be able to see it like this okay now click on the web scrapper and click on create new create sitemap and paste that URL here this one paste that URL here and as you can see it's page 2 I'll tell you uh, why we added this uh, page 2 and why we didn't use the page 1 so uh, it's just because um, how many pages we want we just uh, add the argument here and we will um, get all those pages okay now uh, I'll name this uh, sitemap as AAA because uh, I want it to be on the top of almost all of my sitemaps because I have a lot of sitemaps already built okay click on create sitemap but first uh, let me just explain how this page works uh, if you leave it just as page 2 then it will get all the products from this page number 2 but if you wrap them into the large brackets and one dash five and then close the brackets then what it will do it will get all the products on page one then two then three up to five 
so all these uh, products will be scrapped click on create sitemap now what is the root the root is our uh, page number for example if we are on the first page then um, the root will be that page products so we will get uh, those products from that root okay now on the root click on add new and we will get the single product link type the name of the um, selector and then type will be link because we will get the link from uh, from all these products and then we will go them uh, one by one okay type is link then selector click on select and uh, leave the sponsored one this one is sponsored this one is sponsored okay start it from here click on the title first second and all other titles are already selected and the sponsored one are skipped as well okay now click on these as well and in the bottom you can see that two uh, sponsored are also skipped okay now click on uh, done but click on this uh, multiple because we need all these multiple products if you click on the data preview you can see that all these links are uh, scrapped okay click on save now scroll up uh, to the top and open any of these products so we can get um, all the data from these products one by one now open any one product and then click on this single so our uh, root is now our single page from each product we will get title image the price the category which is in the breadcrumb the short description the long description and uh, some other features like SN or bestseller ranks or brand or product dimensions these things will be uh, got into our CSV okay now first of all let's get the title click on add new selector type in the name its title click on select and choose the title see if it's getting the data yes and click on save now we have the title in every single page now we will add another selector which will be the price or the platform uh, as you can see this is the Xbox platform series so um, if you want to add gaming accessories specific then uh, you will have to add this platform uh, otherwise you can add the price let's add price and choose the price okay it's already there click save now we have title and price now uh, the stock status click on stock uh, sorry add new selector and type in the name stock then select the stock status and click on save now let's add uh, these features mm, if not then we can add just this uh, short description click on add new short and it will be text we can use uh, HTML because these uh, things are in bullets so we would like to have them in the bullets as well if you click on data preview then you can see that it's now uh, in HTML format click on save selector now scroll down to the bottom so we can see the description of this product this is the uh, large description so uh, we only need this one this description click on add new type in the name description it's in the text format not HTML you can also get this in HTML but uh, I'll get in the text because this is just a paragraph click on save now uh, let's get the ASIN click on add new selector type the name ASIN its text and let's choose this and it's getting the asin. Okay. Save it. Now let's uh, choose the best seller rank. Click on add new best seller and select. Click on the whole TD and we have the best seller rank. Click on save and finally the dimensions. Uh, but we forgot to add the image. 
I'll show you how uh, you can get the image URL after this dimensions and select and we have the dimension now now scroll up to the images section you can choose uh, this main image click on add new selector type in picture or image or picture one because we have multiple pictures I'll show you how to get these multiple pictures click uh, select the type as image and then choose select and click on the image now if you uh, data preview and you can see that we have the image link if you open it in a new tab then uh, this is the image uh, okay but this is just the first one click on save now we will add picture 2 I'll show you just one more picture and you can add all all of these picture 2 now link sorry uh, its image now we will not select on this image we will have to choose this second image here click on select click on image this second one and we have the second image link uh, now let's open it I'll show you how to uh, change it from this small thumbnail to the larger just uh, look at the URL you can see that there is a dot after the dot we have this uh, small amount of arguments up to here before the first dot remove all these things and leave one dot press enter then you can see that this is the larger image so this is how you can replace it uh, in the CSV file in Microsoft Excel or any other software you use so we will just replace uh, this string with none including this first dot but leaving this second dot and we will get the second image here similarly you can add the picture 3 4 5 and um, as many as you want now click on sitemap and click on scrap but uh, before scrapping I'll uh, remove this 1 to 5 pages because I just need page number 1 and click on si save sitemap and let's scrap it but if you use that option from 1 to 5 then it will get all 5 pages or 50 pages or 500 pages whatever you want now I leave this for about uh, 5 to 10 minutes because it will um, get the first page all these products and then it will go uh, on each product one by one and get uh, title image description um, and all other small things so I'll just uh, stop the video recording and uh, I'll start it when the scrapping is finished don't close this uh, browser and do not uh, do anything until it's done okay the scrapping is finished now click on sitemap and click on export data as CSV click on download now now if you open this file in Excel then you will see this data accurately but if you save this file as it is then it will be uh, disturbed and damaged so what we will do first step is click on file and click on save as and choose a location let me add this to my desktop and from save as type you will have to select the CSV comma delimited currently it's unicode text but we will have to save it in comma delimited csv and name it for example let me name it amazon and click on save and click yes now you can use this file anywhere in uh, on your website okay here uh, you can see the first image is this but the second image will be uh, a smaller version which is ac us 40 now uh, how you can replace this you can choose the first dot until the next dot but uh, do not include the next dot click on copy now type uh, press ctrl f and click on replace paste this please remember to include this first dot but do not include the second dot and uh, leave this second one empty and click on replace all and all these things will be gone but uh, you can see that some of them are still there but they are different so for example this one have uh, 50 instead of 40 so click here copy 
press control F and paste it here and click on replace all similarly this one this is just one image so I'll uh, remove this manually click here and press enter now all these images are uh, in larger position so this is how you can uh, add all these things to the CSV you can see that some fields are missing but you can um, open these products for example this one copy this link and open it in the Excel while your uh, scrapper is open click on selectors and see if why the description is not coming so you can see that there is null if you scroll down to the description section then you can change that selector okay there is no description for this page so uh, no problem similarly short description is available description SN is not available for some of products and stock status prices are not available for some products so let's see why products uh, is not getting the prices okay we do not have uh, this one in stock that is why the stock is not uh, done and the prices as well so this is how you can get all these products uh, Amazon products into a CSV please let me know in the comments if you have any question and please subscribe to my channel so you won't miss our future updates thank you